Hello, my brothers and my sisters. It's another beautiful, blessed day today. To always be in the presence of the Lord, it's always a blessing for every last one of us to continue always pour our faith and trust in Him for every last one of us to continue to seek Him in His kingdom each and every day and not His hands and for every last one of us to always, always praise Him. I cannot express that enough by praise His name. Even though when things not adding up, even though you might not feel like it right now, even though you might not have a job right now, even though you might be staying in the midst of your storm right now, even though that you might be broke right now, you behind on bills, or whatever the situation or the case may be, but you still always, always need to praise his name. You should always seek him. You should always pray. Always open up your Bible and read a word each and every day. But praise is always necessary, my brothers, my sisters. Praise is always necessary, even though when you don't feel like it, even though when things are always scattered around you, you don't know if you're coming or going, but you still need to praise him. You still need to magnify his holy name, but most of all, you need to seek him and put your faith and trust in him. That's when Jesus is going to start turning things around in your life, but you have to praise him. Just don't praise him because you want something. Just don't praise him because you're in need of, of need of anything. You want to praise him because you're in love with him. You want to praise him because you trust him. You want to praise him because he's your everything. He is number one in your life. Not number two, not number three. Jesus should always be coming for your, your husband, your wife, your child, your job. He should be number one. Number one priority in your life is Jesus because he is number one in my life. Nothing comes before him. He is number one. Number uno in my life. It don't matter who it is. He is number one. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. In today's text, we're going to be reading from James 3, verse 2. That's James chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 2. And today's message is flaws. Every last one of us on this planet called Earth, every last one of us has flaws. And the, reason why, and the reason why that we have flaws, because myself nor you, either one of us, are perfect. We all make mistakes, we all fall short, we all fail, and something in life. It don't matter what it is. And some of y'all feel like that y'all don't make flaws. Some of y'all feel like that y'all are perfect. There's only one person I know that's in this world that's perfect, and his name is Jesus. And neither one of us are him. So this message today, and I just want every last one of my sisters and my brothers really take heed to this message and this word because we all have flaws. You just got to own up and say, you know what? Yes, I do have flaws. And you got to make it right. But neither one of us would be perfect because even though through our imperfection, Jesus still loves us and still treats us the same. He still blesses us even though we have imperfection. So if he knows that, you should know that. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give him the thanks, praise, and glory. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I just can't thank you enough for another day that we was able to get on our knees today. Just to pray and spend time with you today, to hear the word of God today. I just can't thank you enough for this message today because I know myself that we have flaws. I know that we come up short. I know that we have failed. But and even though through our imperfection that you still love us the same, you still treat us the same, and you still bless us the same, even though that we seek you and we praise you, but you know we have flaws. And I just can't thank you enough today, oh Heavenly Father God, for the opportunities that you bless and place in front of us each and every day. I just can't thank you enough because you choose. And you have chose us to be part of something, even though that we don't, that you don't need our help. But you still chose us anyway, that you still give us a chance and an opportunity each and every day. And I just can't thank you enough for that today, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough for every time that you always there for us. I just can't thank you enough whenever, when we stray away. And we call upon you still right there. You still love us the same. You still treat us the same way, Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's why I praise you the way I do. That's why I lift your name up the way I do. That's why I seek you the way I do. Because, Jesus, I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name. Glory. Hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to James 3, and we're going to read verse 2. 
That's James chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 2. And if you have your Bibles open and you're ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen, let's begin. We all stumble in many ways. If anyone is never at fault in what he says, he is a perfect man and able to keep his whole body in check. See, we all stumble, my brothers, my sisters. And if anyone, not what I'm saying, but what the word of God is saying, it says, if anyone's never at fault and what he says, he's a perfect man. And some of y'all, we have fault in a lot of ways. But some of y'all think that you never have fault. If you never have fault in anything, that means that you're saying that you're perfect. That means it's saying that you, that you don't need Jesus' help at all. That means that everything that you do is perfect. And some of us in this world think that we are perfect. And we know that's a lie. I'm being real with you. We all fail. We all have flaws. Every last one of us. Every last one of us has flaws. And what are flaws? Flaws is when something is your fault. Flaws is imperfection. Flaws are weakness. Flaws are limitations. Flaws are shortcoming. And we, every last one of us, have these traits. We have had flaws in our relationship with Jesus. We have flaws with our parents. We have flaws in our marriage. We have our flaws in walking. Every last one of us. But the midst of all of that, when Jesus knows we have flaws, the main thing, the main thing, even though through our imperfection, he still loves us and still treat us the same. Even though through our imperfection, he still loves us and treat us the same. What are flaws? If you're taking down notes, we're going to start with F. And I want everybody really to just take down these notes and just go over this. F. We fail through our flaws. We all have failed in some kind of way. Some of us probably failed in our relationship with Jesus. Some of us have even failed through praying or reading our Bible. Some of us even have failed through our marriages. When all you had to do is ask Jesus for help. We fail, right? And we got flaws. L. Some of us are just lazy. We are lazy through our flaws. And the reason why we lazy is because we feel like we don't need help. We feel like we can do everything else. And we become lazy through our shortcomings. We become lazy through our weakness. We become lazy through our imperfection. We become lazy through our limitation. We become lazy. A. We are awful. We are awful. How we awful? Because when something is our fault, we will never man a woman up to it. That's how awful we are. And you know exactly who you are. When something is our fault, we are awful because we will never say, okay, we did it. Even though we know it's our fault. We will never agree to it. We're awful. W. Some of us, this wine, too much. We even know we weep, we whine. Even though when stuff is shortcoming, we whine. Even though when something's our fault, we whine about the problem in the situation instead of manning and warming up to it. We'll whine about it. You know exactly who you are. S. You're selfish. You are selfish. And every last one of us, in some type of way, we have been selfish. Some of us think it's all about us. Oh, I ain't going to do this for this person. Oh, I ain't going to do that for that person. Oh, if I, get, if I get 90%, what I'm getting out of it. It doesn't matter if you're giving 99%. You still are selfish. How many times has Jesus have ever been selfish towards you? Ask yourself that question right now. How many times have Jesus has ever been selfish towards you? Not one time. But we all selfish towards him. Every last one of us. Every last one of them has failed him. Every last one has been lazy towards him. Every last one has been awful towards him. Every last one of them has whined to him. And every last one of them has been selfish towards him. And that's why we have flaws. Every last one of them has flaws. But what can you do to straighten them flaws up? What can you do to fix those flaws? First of all, you got to know it's something your fault. You got a man and woman up to it. 
point blank. Quit being lazy. Quit being awful. Quit whining about certain things. And quit being selfish. There's no battle on this planet called Earth is special or perfect. No, we all have problems. We all have limitations. We all go through things. We all stumble. Every last one of us. Some of us, like I said, we stumble through our marriage. And we'll blame the husband and the wife. Oh, I can't give him this because I'm not getting out of If I give her this, I'm not re returning anything from it. You got flaws in your marriage. I mean, you've been lazy in your marriage. You whining through your marriage. You're selfish through your marriage. And that's why some of your marriage are failing. Because of your flaws. You fail because you haven't seen a blessing or a breakthrough yet. You've been lazy because you haven't heard or saw anything yet. You've been awful. You've been awful to the one person who loves us the most. Some of y'all whining because you see other people getting blessed and it's, you ain't getting blessed. Jesus works in season. And you're selfish. You're selfish. You know exactly who you are. You're selfish. Think about it. That's what flaws are. When you know something's your fault, agree to it. You say, you know what? It's my fault. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm going to do better. It don't matter what the situation is. Apologize. Quit limiting yourself. Quit whining about something. And quit being selfish. I don't know who I'm talking to today. But this word and this message today is for somebody today. We have flaws. We have flaws. Look what the word of God said. We all stumble. He didn't say some of us stumble or disability. He said we all, every last, of, every last one of us, we stumble. You stumble in your relationship with Jesus. You stumble in your relationship at, at work. You stumble in your relationship with your kids. You stumble in your relationship in your marriage, in your dreams. You stumble. You stumble. In many a ways, he ain't saying in a little bit of ways, and we all stumble, and some of us stumble in a whole lot of ways. In so many ways that you can't even count how many times that you stumble. You don't even know. But Jesus said, even though through your imperfection, even though through your imperfection, he still love us and treat us the same. Now, he's not even selfish at all. He haven't failed us, but we failed him. He ain't lazy towards us, but we lazy towards him. He's not awful towards us, but we awful towards him. He don't whine about us, but we whine towards him. He's not selfish towards us, but we are selfish towards him. Flaws. Flaws. We all have them. Flaws. We all go through. Flaws. We all have stumbled in many a ways. Break those flaws today, my brothers. Break those flaws today, my sisters. And when you when you stumble, pick yourself back up and admit to what you stumble at. I know I had many times and I just said, you know what? I know I was wrong for this. Let me straighten this out. Let me fix this. I know if I failed in this area so many times, okay, let me fix that. If I know I was lazy in this area right here, let me fix that. If I know I was awful in this area right here, let me fix that. If I know I was whining so much in this area right here, let me fix that. If I feel like I was selfish in this area right here, let me fix that. Flaws. Flaws, my sisters. Flaws, my brothers. We all have them. Fix the problem. Amen? Amen. And I hope that this word, this, this, video, this video, and this message was helpful towards you today. And if it was today... Give him a thanks right now and the praise and the glory in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And before I close, I was at the end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to take over, to guide us, direct us, and use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now. And if we ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' holy name, amen.